just a, just a, just a small sip of Malort to get this, you know, get get myself in the mood, get things started for part two of of the oldies of Pike Maze oldies dot com box of stuff video unboxing video part two. I am Pike Maze. I thank you for coming back and watching the Empire Strikes Back, uh, you know, sort of installment or the Indiana Jones installment of this unboxing series that I'm doing. And I have to just be honest with you how excited I am about these next movies that we're going to be unboxing. Give my scissors. So up first is, uh, look at this, it's called The Shriven. The Shriven? Yeah, it says the shriven. I don't really know what that word means. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I just, I'm not. Unbox this real quick and see if there's a definition inside or something. But it says blood is her passion, which, looking at the cover, that does check out. That does seem to be the case here. Uh, hope everybody's doing well. Um, you know, in case you missed the first part, you should go watch the first part. But I got some movies from oldies.com. And we're going to just take a look at them right now. I did have a recent neck injury, so... Apologize if I seem a little... I'm in some pain, okay? I am in some pain. So the Shriven, blood is her passion, and she's horny. So there's that. That's pretty cool. Um, quick look at the back for you, and I'll read the special features. But if you want to read the description, you're going to have to pause it right here for that. I'm not, I'm not holding your hand through this whole thing. Special features, we have a trailer. You know, people... The trailers are important, you know? I mean, it's a it's a basic bonus feature, but you want a good trailer on there. You got a still gallery. See it down here? Still gallery and behind-the-scenes footage. Now, that is, you know, that is why I'm here. I want to see this shriven woman, and then I want to come... I want to have some sort of understanding of how this happened with some behind-the-scenes footage. Um, this movie came out in The Shriven, this movie, 2000, 2010, 2010, okay. So as of the recording of this video right now, this Pike Maze video, that the, this unboxing video, right, that we're recording, it, it came out 11 years ago, okay? Although it says 2011, so maybe that's when it came out on DVD. Was this released theatrically? Well, good on them. The inside, you got a shriven. See that? Got some more shriven action, I guess you'd say, going on. Pretty much the same as the front. And this is put up by Shriek Show. Shriek Show... Yeah. And Strange Works. Huh. The Shriven. Movie number one. Very excited about that. Might be watching that tonight. How could you not? You know, what, are you going to buy a Shriven DVD and then not watch it? What are you, nuts? All right. Moving right along. Today we have... Today we have three movies. On the last video, there's four movies. But here's the thing, when you think about a trilogy, a lot of times the second part is bloated. You know, they're like, well, well, the first one did well. And I don't know if my first unboxing video did well or not, but then you get the second one and it's too much. So we're going to do a little bit of a, just a shorter one. And then the third one is going to be, you know, all out, which I guess also happens sometimes. But we got a movie right here called Hollywood... Mortuary. 
And this is just holding this DVD is really exciting for me because I've never seen the Hollywood sign. So the fact that I that that I now can have said that I have seen the Hollywood sign is, you know, you learn something new every day. So that is cool. It says stars are not born, they're embalmed. That's like the tagline at the top. It says featuring Academy Award winner Margaret O'Brien. She's one of the actors, I guess. Here's the back. Uh, it says glamorous. And then there's a second Hollywood sign, which I didn't know that there was two. But I can't read all this, so I'm going to flip it around. It says death can be, oh, death can be glamorous is what that said. I couldn't read the top. No, uh, yeah, pause if you want to read the synopsis. Now, you have some photos of, like, the movie, and that looks like my jam. Everything going on right, everything going on here looks like my jam. You know, this looks like my type of Hollywood movie. But I'm going to be honest, I am maybe a little bit disappointed because I don't see any special features on here. So that's a little disappointing. But I do see that the well, special guest star on here is Conrad Brooks, who I just absolutely adore. Rest in peace, Sir Conrad. Uh, this is the DVD. Same thing. Steer, sturdy case. It's got a very, you could probably crack somebody in the head with this and they'd go down. I wouldn't, you know, do that, but it is pretty sturdy. But there's no special features. So, so far I'm going to say that the Shriven uh, wins this round, if you will, because uh, Hollywood Mortuary, I appreciate the, the sign, the Hollywood sign here, but I need some special features on my dvds you know i was probably just in a frenzy buying all this stuff i mean it was getting bad for me i'm like i need to put the credit card away here and stop buying movies you know quick malort sip and we're moving on to what is going to be the final film in this video but who knows might end up being the most exciting video of the of part two. Oh, look at that. I just ripped it right off. Totem! Oh, my blue screen is not going to be happy about this. Totem. I mean, not blue screen. I'm, you can see where I am. When I said blue screen is just an expression that I like to use. Like, like the Matrix. Like, are we, is any of this real, you know? It's like that. I don't mean anything other than, you know, just I'm out and about in Chicago hanging out. So this movie Totem, you got this babe on the front. She's she's looking kind of scared, you know, and I don't blame her. To be honest, I don't really blame her there because some weird stuff going on in the front here. You got uh, a totem. I don't know. They kind of look like they're into S&M. You know, they look like they might hang out at Touche in Chicago, which is cool. I mean, that's, you know, it's a hot ticket. I am going to take the, I got a, here's the top. I have a thing. I Oh, I've been forgetting to show you guys spines. I apologize. Here, here's some spines for you. Here's some spines. You know what? F it. Let's just bring everybody in here. This is, uh, I just happen to have these sitting here from part one. There's some spines. You get all your spines in here. And it's good. But I am going to pull off the top of this maybe to just, uh, uh it's not going well. Why do they put these on here, you know? Like, it's in the shrink wrap. Ain't that enough? In this, in this day and age of technology, ain't that enough? All right, I'm getting it, though. 
I kind of, I kind of got it. It's going to take a minute. Please bear with me. Here, I'll do some ASMR for you. This hurts my neck. Okay, I hope you I hope you enjoyed that ASMR. All right, here's the back for totem. Read the thing if you want, and it says the shape of nightmares to come. Running time eighty minutes. Oh, how long was Hollywood Mortuary? I'm sorry, you guys. I'm not doing great here. This came out. In, oh. This says package design two thousand two which was the best year for package design, but I'm not sure when the movie came out. But this came out in 1999, and it's 80 minutes long. And this is once again from Full Moon Features. Shout out to Charles Band, who I met. No, I haven't met him. Don't cut that, Paul, uh, Pike, cut that out. Um... But you know what? I don't see any special features on this either. You guys. Oh, and a terrible DVD. Like, boring. Charles Band skipping out on us. Another sturdy case. I will give him that. Another sturdy case. I don't know if Oldies puts these cases together or what, but this is feeling sturdy. Anyway... Totem. Yeah. All right. Where's the other one here? I'll do it. I will do, you know, like, I feel like this babe might get some clicks. So I'll do, and the Shriven, you know, we'll do like a Pike Maze is excited, you know, like all this stuff going on here. There we go. Thank you for watching, and I hope that you will tune in for um, the uh, exciting conclusion to this oldies.com unboxing trilogy. And uh, stay tuned for that. I hope you're doing well. Pike Maze. Uh, 